Hey guys, so, um, recently I found out about this new, um, old layout fix for YouTube called 7KT2. So, apparently, this is, uh, basically, um, a, again, another plugin thing, which allows you to, um, get the old YouTube layout. So, I'm gonna actually just do something real quick so this doesn't look all wonky and stuff. Okay, so to make things look wonky, I decided to turn on smooth uh, screen font, so I'm um, sorry if everything looks cursed like this here, I'm gonna, it's not like that usually. But anyways, here is the 7KT2 website, so basically this website also has YouTube, a dark theme for YouTube Studio. That kinda aged well, cause now they introduced dark theme for YouTube Studio, but it's good that they attempted, so this is our main thing. So for this to actually work, you do need something like Violent Monkey, so um, that is actually needed in order to have this thing to work. Tamper Monkey or Violent Monkey, so, uh, so it supports Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Opera. So here are some image uh, images, so this is the home screen, supposedly the home screen. Um, this is how the video page looks like, this is a dark mode, this is how dark mode on the video page looks like. And this is basically the configuration thing. So now we're gonna install the user script. So as I already mentioned, you do have to have Violent Monkey or Tamper Monkey to have this. So we're gonna confirm installation. And I was saying that the script is installed. So let's jump into YouTube. So right out of the bat, we see some differences here and there. So the toolbar is completely different with new icons and uh, it overall is looking different. The old YouTube logo is applied. This looks different. Uh, it still actually is five icons. It's five icons, up four, okay? Your subscribers here and stuff like that so how do you configure this um this little icon here is here to help you configure this so um yeah basically it just lets you configure this, this how the script looks so um here you can use youtube's old player it basically just shows the smaller buttons and menu i'm uh, gonna use it okay use youtube's classic logo so that is basically this old logo which we have here Align search bar to the left, so basically it, does, it aligns it a bit to the left where it used to be. So auto close navigation bar to, com to compact mode when a page opens. Uh, yeah, honestly, I honestly don't know what it does. I guess it kind of closes the navigation bar to compact mode when some page opens. I don't know. Um, make profile picture square again. So basically, this uh, makes your profile picture square and in uh, you know in some in some search I don't know just makes them square. Um, Disable video previews when mouse over the thumbnails. This basically disables the preview of videos when you mouse over the thumbnail. So it's it's a new change which uh um which uh YouTube implement implemented. Um, hide query button when 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 that's a bit of a spelling mistake. That that's got to be fixed. Hide query button when mouse when you mouse over the thumbnail. So basically, there's a query button here to add this to some like type of query. I don't know how you pronounce that. You wait, wait. How do I play it? Hello. Q. Like that. Okay. Uh. Q. Okay. I guess I said it right. But anyways, um, basically, uh, there's a Q button right here, uh, which allows to put it into some weird Q thing, um. Hide filter bars on home plus and watch page plus hover overlays on video thumbnails. Um, I'm not really the best person to explain this. Filter bars on home plus watch page. Uh, filter bars. I guess it hides some filter bars. I I I'm, I'm not I I'm not so smart. Uh, I'm dumb. Uh, hover overlays on uh, video thumbnails. Uh, if so basically. Some overlay thingies uh, here uh, when you hover over a video. Hide suggestion blocks on main page. Recommended playlists, um, latest posts, etc. So this basically hides things like latest posts, um, you know, recommended playlists and stuff like that. So that's actually a great feature because those things annoy me a fuck ton. Um, I'm, not, I'm not lying right now. Hide suggestion blocks on search page for you people also watch etc. Those are also really annoying, well, at least in my opinion. 
I, I hate them a fuck ton. I'm really glad that this actually exists. Ag race kids already watch video thumbnails and make them less visible. Basically, it's this white thing here. Um, so add plus add blur to grayscale thumbnail. So I think when we refresh this and it shows me a watched video, it's gonna grayscale the video thumbnail and blur it. Even though it kind of doesn't really do that here, I honestly don't know why. Now, set thumbnails with front page basically just allows you to set the width here. So, menu basically allows you to do this. Set thumbnail width for search page. Again, the same thing, but for the search page. Set video player size. Basically, it's uh, video player size on the video page. So, um, we're going to go into the video page right now. Uh, I don't know what to go in. And I don't want to go into a video infested with, uh, okay, we're going to go into this. So as you can see, that actually uses the old loading thing. So I guess it's the size of this video player here. Um, so we're going to make it like, uh, what, 640 by 360, and we're going to refresh. And, um, oh my god! Holy fuck! <laughs> I've never... Raising my volume again, but anyways, um, uh, you you get the idea. It didn't really change anything though because we we're using the old YouTube player. I gotta watch this ad. I'll skip this. Um, okay. Anyways, here's how this looks like. So we have this cool loading thing. Um, and here's the subscribe button. So I'm gonna subscribe to this person just to show how it looks like. Yes, yeah, how it looks like. It looks great. So that's all homework which YouTube Reddit has to do. Here's how this looks like. And this is all separated. So in YouTube Reddit, is actually all together. This is all separated here, which I guess is how it's supposed to be. But this extension also has some quite some homework to do because of um, this. This is not supposed to be like this, but I guess they decided to do it. Wait, I think it actually is. Never mind. I, I don't know. I'm honestly, I'm honestly dumb. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Probably is. Probably it isn't. I'm not entirely sure. So... Uh, so this doesn't actually have the old animations for this uh, for this other thing, which is uh, I don't know I don't know if it's depressing because I use that feature often and I don't know about you. Um, so this is um, uh, the common thing. I want this in YouTube Redux a lot. So YouTube Redux again has to learn some from this. This I like it a lot. Um, low. I don't know. We're just gonna type low, and it has these classic buttons, which is um and that's fantastic so we're gonna watch this video here yeah so that's how the viewing experience is so um yeah and here you can see the these comments they actually look actually decent so we have the reply button here and it actually replies and then we have the like and dislike here so this extension again does have quite some homework to do. So for example, we need these old icons like the old upload icon. We need to hide this and this, and uh, then this needs to actually be circle. We have to add an option for this to be circle. And not square all the time. And th these icons have to be the old icons and the old these icons have to be the old icons. I think this has to be repositioned right here. Uh, but overall, this comment section is actually my dream in YouTube Redux. Um, so what rating do I give it? It has great settings, um, So, uh, but I kind of do understand why it is um, a separate settings page, because uh, it's not an extension. What is my rating? Um, so we didn't actually look at channel pages. So we're going to look at Python here. So um, I don't know why this here, it doesn't have a profile picture for whatever reason. Yeah, I don't know why, right? but here's how channel pages look like. I guess they look a bit more proper here than on than in YouTube Redux. Uh, be, I'm comparing this a lot with YouTube Redux. That's a uh, uh, plugin which I use. I'm sorry for kind of breaking myself here. So this is basically uh, replies, you know, the notification things. These. This is the menu. So um, you get the idea. Mm. It's great. I like it. It's great. I like it. It's great. Why did, why did I repeat that like a thousand times? But anyways, uh, anyways, um, well, that's it. Uh, what's my overall rating on this plugin? 8 out of 10. Uh, I don't hate it. 
uh, but it, it does have some homework to do, honestly. Uh, like, it does have some finish, from some touching up to be done, like, some finishing to be done. But overall, it's not bad. It's great. I like it. It's really great. It's, so, I don't hate it. It's, it's good. It's good enough, so I would actually use it. Oh, actually, I forgot to look at the dark mode here, because it was actually mentioned that the dark mode here does look a bit different. Um, so... Let's, uh, here it is, in dark mode! So, basically, um, apparently it has some more different colors in here. So, as you can see, when you're, when this is actually selected, so it isn't actually red all the time. So that's actually, I guess it's a good detail. It's not bad, honestly. It's, it's a great detail, I guess. And, um, uh, let's look at how the videos look like in, um, uh, dark mode. This how the videos look like. So I don't know why this is like that. I don't think it is like that. So, uh, so yeah. So, um, yeah. So what? What are my opinions on it? Um, uh, I just want to mention these opinions again. I like it. So basically, it's great. I would use it on a day-to-day -day basis if I didn't know about any other extensions and I only learned about this just now. It's not bad, it's not funky, but it does have some finishing up to be done. But honestly, if the developer cannot really work much on this because they have to focus on other things, that's fine. Um, or if they just started working on this, honestly, I don't know if they just started working on this because like it's it's already a version 3.1.1, so that's a bit farther than YouTube Reddit. Then, I mean, it's understandable if you recently just started working on this. Uh, but like, it's a great extension. It's, it, don't hate it. It's good. It's not bad. So, I would rate this a solid 8 out of 10. As I said, I really like the work which has been put into this, this extension. I definitely like it. Um, so, yeah. But for now, I will probably be following the development of 7KT2. But for now, I will be using YouTube Reddit. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That would be really appreciated, to be honest. Um, we're trying to hit... Wait, are we on three? Yeah, we're trying to get 400 subscribers now. I know my channel is going slowly out lately, but whatever. I'm still going to upload. So, yeah. Goodbye! So, um, right off the bat, we see some different... Um, uh, so, right off the bat, we see some... So, right off the bat, we see... So... So, right... Ah! Oh, my God! I suck at spelling. So, so, so right of the, so right of the, so right.